If I cast Breach, I nail the second card. Let's go like this. Oh! Oh, I just realized I'm drawing a lot of cards. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we are playing Demir Breach and I'll tell you man, this deck is still busted. The deck is absolutely enjoyable to play. It's also Demir, it feels like a control a little bit. So I think you'll like it. Uh, we will go directly into games. Don't forget to sub for Demir if you love the archetype. And I mean, uh, the games today will be wild. I think you will appreciate them. Have fun guys. So then it's Patchwork Automaton or whatever it's called, the, the pump stuff. Yep, exactly. Oh boy, this sucks so much. Edict would be absolutely perfect for this. We need to kill it now, so the token, uh, the counter doesn't go on the automaton. Oh my god, I'm so good at magic. I'm so good at magic. They might have protection spells, let's make sure that it dies. Like, this is their power play, this is the reason the deck exists. So he will put counters, or what? Enchantment, draw a card. Alright, I need one more. If I can hit one more land, it's fine. But I'm so scared and he will make treasures together with Carlo. Like his machine is going off absolutely hard. All right, this is a little bit slow. Artifact, so it will put two counters, right? Plus, oh, it's, it's going bad. <laughs> oh, the menace also means we cannot get the Hidetsugu. And this cannot be blocked except with creatures with haste, which we don't have, of course. I will go for this one, even though he has a sorcery speed phase ahead of, it, ahead of him. Oh boy, it hurts. Oh man, please land. If I don't hit land from the top, I'm so dead. And he draws a card, right? When, when the enchanted creature dies. Alright, some card draw. Probably not for for this turn, really? He's trying to hit a land, I think. Yeah, that was super... Man, did I miss something? I think it was super greedy. Like, he cannot play anything. He, he but kinda wasted the whole thing. You know what? There is a chance. Wow. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> All right, let's get some good cards out here. Okay, this can kill the archivist. I mean, that should be it, right? Let's be honest. And we are not casting the bridge anyway. Yeah, let's put bridge on the top and bridge on the bottom. I think this is the correct split. If you put it uh, on the reverse way, then you could hit the bridge instead of a bridge, you know? So better not risk it. A 6-7. And he really loves hitting those bad cards. I know he can hit a land, but he has very low value right now. That's interesting. I guess, I guess he can use the Ozolith. We can play Hidetsugu and Kairi and kill Hidetsugu and Kairi. That can be a play. And yeah, we won't go for the throw then, which is a little bit scary. All right, good call. Good. I I want to complain about what I drew. <laughs> All, right. All right, that was uh, that was interesting. Let's try. Wow, it's not something that is super meaningful, but we are going for the display. So no. I need to hit really something great, but we can we can double block because we will have two creatures at least with the bridge. We actually have more, right? Because we will have two creatures here and one. Oh, I need to remember that I will get rid of bridge. All right. They went for the thing. We definitely will play this. We'll take this guy because it has vigilance, little known fact. Oh, he, he is nearly dead. Oh, that's cool. All right, so first this resolves because we want breach. And this is actually easy to misplay if you do it wrong. Can I stack the trigger? All right, let's go for it because I think we can do it. Uh, opponents, graveyard. 
We don't really have those. I think we go with the world guy. Alright, so we take this guy for example. And now we stack it the opposite, right? Now we draw cards. Man, this is insane! Like, look at this! And we go this, and I mean a land. And this is on top. And now we reveal it. We cast it, and we won! Oh my god, I didn't think... Man, this deck is, is absolutely amazing. Man, it's busted! Oh, I see, I see. Alright. I would play like this. Uh, this is kinda the card you can safely ignore for a lot of turns. Alright, you got your Danik, sure. They probably have a counter spell. I mean, we could also play the friendly. So, uh, this will get made disappear and then he can. No, Rafin is out of option because he won't have Esper mana. So let's eat the counter spell for the day. We prefer Jace to be countered than Hidetsugu, Geek's Command, Shargat, like... He needs to counter all of those cards. And the faster we get the counter spells out of him, the better. Interesting. Maybe Soul Partition and Death, that, that would make sense. Uh, I don't want to minus two because Danik is on the board and I know you could say that... I should heal Danik. It's fine. Alright, only 2 damage. Jace can absorb a lot of this. So I want to disable Danik, because it's legendary. And then we are going with the knight. It is possible they will play another one, a dance step. Uh, let's not play Shaw into open mana, that's definitely not the, not the way. Very mastermind. Alright, let's actually make sure that we get the play. Alright, so we counter this and we kill this. And I think this is the play. Because now Jace is uncontested and we can ensure that we draw land from the next turn, most likely. Uh, it's glad that Mirex is here, just providing nearly all of the corners. <laughs> Alright, that's... That's some <laughs> interesting gameplay right there. Uh, I really would love to draw a land, man. Let's go for it. Uh, Alright, that's a land. Not the right mana, though. So, uh, it's Mirex and Cutdown, most likely. Uh, he's going with the attack, sure. What about this little Cutdown? Alright. If he goes for the ghost, that's great. Like, this will be his full turn and he will get nothing out of it. See? He has another. Alright, so... I guess he can play land, but it's fine. If he's such a master master player, we are fine with it. Alright. A wild... Hi. Hello. Approach. <laughs> Alright, this, this will be pretty huge. Let's see if we got the bridge. No. No breaching. I think we go for Geek's Command. And hit Sugo. Of course, first goes the Geek's Command. I kinda like this. You can be made nah. Alright, I think we're in a great spot right now. I would love to hit the bridge with Ru. A bridge would close the game. I didn't see counter spells from him so far. It's a very weird Esper deck. It should have Rafin, but I'm not sure if it does. Alright, cool. Absolutely glorious. That means we won the game, because he, he is fully tapped. Now we have free reign over everything. So we can just go, for example, this. Make our friend enjoy some magic. Boardless situation. <laughs> Oh boy, this is this is so brutal. Like, look at this stuff. We are looking like a planeswalker deck. And we smirk. Now we draw some cards for free because that's that's what we do. And yeah, I mean that seems like a pretty decent situation. We also might hit something if he kills Hidetsugu. Oh, 
poor guy is just stuck playing Denix all over again for eternity. I don't need one of the shoulders, probably. Alright, first, we discard shoulders. That's a great card, but we don't need it. Two mana open, that's something to consider. Alright. I didn't expect him to discard a creature card, to be honest. But that's fine, that's fine. Not the perfect way from my side, that's for sure. Um, I don't want to mill him. I will mill myself this one time. Oh, it activates once on me. Oh, I, that was bad. But still, it should be okay. Alright, we'll, we'll make it in a very interesting way. He kills it. That's great. Let's hit something really good from the top. Absolutely easy. You guys didn't know it's on the top, I just felt it, alright? When you are really good at magic, this is type of situation. <laughs> that was so lucky, man. I had like two or three breaches in the whole deck. <laughs> and it was the top card, right? I Oh, okay, four of them. But four in 38, man, that's a lucky hit. <laughs> alright, guys, being on the draw, however, with double cut down. Oh, our opponent... This is already like full complain mode. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So he will play Lance every turn, and that's great. We'll go like this, and we'll pretend we have made disappear to make him think a little bit more. This is absolutely irritating card. This is the best best case for him. Oh boy, it's definitely not where we want to be. However, we will get Liliana and get one trigger before he edicts her. Uh, let's go with the cut down. We need one for the fortress. You also don't want to go into the night time. All right, removing removal. That's good for us. Four cards to go. But oh boy, those will be some good cards. All right, a vampire. Interesting. Really interesting. That's a good call by him. Man, what's up? Man, do you do you really want to play card game? Maybe you need to try like, you know, some Tetris stuff. Man, I watched competitive Tetris. It was actually so fun. <laughs> Alright, so we can get the card out of him, but he will just draw with Sorin. Or we can just go Liliana and minus two. That kinda helps overall. We won't get to ultimate though, but I think it's still worth it. And we probably want to play Shaw. Off you go. Uh, because it kinda goes around Fortress and also forces him to remove it. Unfortunately, our opponent has all the answers instantly. So that's a little bit of a problem. And we need to get to zero cards if we want to get the full value. We need to keep something for the Fortress. We have the cut down, but that means I really don't want to give him the, the night time, man. Alright, he went for the night time. That's good. If he wants to sacrifice 4 mana for it, it's much better. A Sunfall! I see. Target player. That's interesting, isn't it? So I, I have to go for the land, I think. Geek's Command is not perfect, but it's something that matters. Like, it's a, it's a strong, powerful card. Oh boy, he's not making all the right calls, I'll tell you that. Alright. Edict is absolutely amazing. I think this is the play. So, if he wants to kill this, especially at instant speed, it means that we kill the Sorin. Alright. With Liliana, I hope we can make it work. Liliana is just the lifeline that we are hanging on to. And that's not strong enough to kill uh, Hidetsugu. He can activate the fortress. Oh, he didn't go for it. Absolutely perfect. So he's keeping some card. Like, he will discard the planes, right? And we need all of those cards. So, first. First, first, first. Let's try to attack his planeswalker and see if that's enough. Just a random emperor. Because why not? <laughs> 
Do I want to kill Sorin? Do I want to kill... Man, ah, oh, that hurts. It has to be the opponent, right? Yeah, I think we kill Sorin anyway. And let's go for a Planeswalker. And I think we need to go with the Jace, unfortunately. He's down to two cards. I played one spell, we don't want to go into the, in the daytime, that's for sure. You are not much so he will discard the planes and then he has the, the, the last card. And he can play it. So that is the protection. Oh boy, then he won't be able to go for the fortress. I won't draw the card as well. And it's rough. I'm really, really short on mana right now. So I can play it at three. It will have one. So he can kill it if he wants to. I get my. I get so much card advantage though from this. Let's play it first. I mean, we could also plus one, but then we are guaranteed to draw a card down. I will go like this. Alright, that's a land. We need to go into Bridge the Multiverse somehow. Geek's Command is great value in the graveyard. We get double shorted this way. Hmm. And I played the two spells, right? So he will cycle one of those cards. I'm tired of your secrets. I think I will get more. I need to get into seven mana somehow. Yep. Now he cannot recycle it into something much better because this is his play. Alright. Here we go. So now we, we probably want to go into the main game, maybe. See? Let's go for a Geek's Command. Return to creatures, and I mean that's kind of it. Let's go for this one, maybe. Now we have two cards instead of one, and we can get the, the last card from him. Go for the Frobt, alright. And let's keep plassing the Jace. This is really bad at killing Planeswalkers. Of course he will get one of the creatures. But we need to go into Bridge the Multiverse and we can kill at least one creature with Liliana. Alright, going for the Fortress. Attacking Jace. Alright, alright. It's getting harsh. He will live gain from Shaw, of course. Alright, this might be our small win con. But how do we do it? How do we do it? I think we need to start with this one, right? He gets shorter. I guess this is the only creature in the game right now. So we can just go like... Man, we need Jace somehow. How do we do it, man? He can give the first strike, so that's not great. I really want to draw a card somehow. I don't know. <laughs> that's so good for him, honestly. I think we're kind of forced to lower his board a little bit. We probably don't want to double spell. Hmm. Getting it to one is not meaningful because of the first strike. Let's still do it. I think it's like kind of whatever. We just need to start the game and try to go with the bridge and chase. How many chase do we have? So this is the third one already. We only have one more so we shouldn't expect to draw more this game. Maybe with bridge. With bridge it is possible. Here comes the first strike. Let's see what is the target. Sure. I missed six cards, which is meaningful, but maybe I can get the Emperor. And he tries to find some cards. He cannot activate the Fortress, so he needs a uh, top deck removal right now. 
Easy. <laughs> Alright, but he goes for Liliana. So we can kill the Emperor. That is a card that could be played. Alright. First, let's kill the Emperor. Alright, step one acquired. I can kill it, but it's not much value, honestly. And this is the only creature in the board right now. I don't really gain much out of this. Like, he gets it back. I guess I get one step when I have a planeswalker. Alright, let's try it. Not perfect, but I need start. I basically wait until I hit the seventh round. And that's it. This way I can slow it down, and this is the last turn probably when it matters. I could go for Jace already, but it won't be enough cards. I also don't have enough mana. Alright, our opponent has two cards. He cannot attack Liliana unless he wants to invest five mana. Fortress. Alright, that's okay. As I said, I'm just trying to offset my bad drawing skills for the land. I just need to bridge the multiverse, hit Jace and go from there. Alright, finally. It took a while. Uh, so, is attacking meaningful really here? I don't think we attack. Let's go like this. And hit some good stuff. Alright, so we have good hits from our opponent, and here we have Jace. So this will be our Jace. He didn't attack, so I think we just go with Wonder, then we get it back on our side, right? He has mana, so let's meal him first. That is a lot of cards. The end. <laughs> Alright, there was the end. Of course, double shower that will kill itself, but I think it's okay. And he won't be able to kill. I mean, we are winning with mail, so let's just go like this. And I'm taking the mine. This means that he cannot ever attack with shorded, which helps a ton. And it also means I have a blocker. He has one top deck from the top. So, it should not be very high quality overall. Yep, I think he whiffed and he tries to hit another one. And he knows what the last card is. He plays Liliana? I'm not sure. Edict? Edict is fine. I think we won this. As you can see, you can even fight the virtue of persistence. Oh boy, that was close. <laughs> oh. We won't do your go, but I'm sure he's happy that he lost this one. Man, that was really close, I have to say. <laughs> oh, I loved it. But I think he was spamming this emote for the full game. Alright, going second. But we have a cut down and make this appear, and I mean, we definitely have the late game here. <laughs> Not much more. Yeah, let's go like this. It should be fine. Usually it's not mono green, but let's see. Usually it's Gruul, I think. Oh, Scenic. Do you want to go for the Drake? Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. Man, imagine not having cut down on turn one. That would be absolutely devastating. I don't think we are going with Takenuma. If we have bridged the multiverse, it means we need as many lands as we can get. And having Mank disappear is huge. Now they have... Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. Alright, so we're going into full war mode right now. Uh, he can protect the Rod Priest, but not really from this, unless he really wants to apply Toxic to us. Um, Alright, he really wants to apply Toxic to us. So this basically gives him two Toxic. I mean one, because he normally would get the one anyway. Let's see what the play is. He needs to respect the Jace. That removes the Toxic, basically. Alright, so that is the play. But they're wasting a lot of uh, a lot of resources. I think it's still a good play. I think it's worth it. Jace is super annoying for them. Must be found. 
I can go with Mirex on this turn. We won't need uh, the colored mana. And it gives us some priority and, you know, maybe we'll win the Toxic War. We don't have creatures in the graveyard. I see. <laughs> nope. Uh, if you attacked first, it would cost one mana, my friend. <laughs> I think that was deliberate. I think he knew what he was doing, but I'm not sure if that was good play. Right now he's at three poison counters. We are at 17 and he has two cards. He needs to kill us somehow. And I do not need to block. In two turns, we are breaching the multiverse. All right, man, he's really good at drawing those, but uh, getting damage from Shorded, they generally don't run removal most of the time, so they cannot answer this card really. All right, guys, man, Hidetsuga and Kairi really likes to be in pairs. I'll take it. We have Kaito. I think we can make it work, but of course we need uh, land from the top in like two, maximum three turns. But when you are really good at magic, when you have magic in your heart, you will never miss a land. Except when you do. Alright, this is something attacks... Uh, gives mana. Sure. Alright, so no mana here. Uh, I definitely want to get rid of this. But this will be a problem a little bit, because it seems that we are forced to play Kaito into this board. Man, the phase out is so important. Man, I love how Kaito works. It's such a smart card in all around. Like, it, it does what it should do. Alright, scary. Absolutely scary. Let's draw. Ah, oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? There's no secret I can't uncover. Alright, so I missed two land. Uh, two life. That's really bad on my part. I honestly thought that maybe I would draw something else. But then I was like, oh, I guess I'm playing short that, and then it's like, yeah, I guess it wasn't the best play. Man, he's really doing it. Let's attack with this guy. Well, I don't think we can be aggressive yet. I need to remove our man. Oh, that's so bad. Alright, Hidatsuga is great fodder for those creatures. They don't want to kill it. Uh, I don't need this. If I cast Breach, I mail the second card. Let's go like this. Oh! Oh, I just realized I'm drawing a lot of cards <laughs> when I am at 20, 29. And his opening was really good, man. Like, he had this into Talia, into Halana and Alina. I honestly, like, I thought that the, he would be able to attack with Talia, but yeah, she's at 4 power, so that's so close to Charlotte. He can he can go for Hidatsugu. Sure. <laughs> we will teach our opponent that you never kill Hidatsugu and Kairi. Oh, he's... he's... no. Do I need to cast it? Oh, I think I can decline. No! Oh, okay, he, he got the damage. All right, all right. It took me a while. <laughs> not, not really good at magic. Uh, let's keep attacking then. He can just block wood here. So I'm not gaining anything out of killing the, the creature. Man, I, I didn't remember the tally attacks even this. Oh, that's so brutal. So he will be at four. Let's draw a card. Probably some misplaced baked here. Alright. I learned the hard way. Man, I was so excited and now I look like a buffoon. Alright, let's go like this. Uh, we of course go for this. We live gain up to 40 because that's what Dimir does usually. And our opponent, man, sure that. Look at this stuff. Just sure that things. A Jediya. The unifier. Out of those two. Alright. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. But guys, I don't even care. I, I would tank everything. It would be just 27 damage, so nothing to scoff at, but you know, 
we've shown that it's just a light blow. All right, guys, so after the games, I hope you enjoyed them. They were pretty wild, and I know there were a lot of misplays, but I think that states, you know, about the deck even better, because we went 75% win rate, I believe, and that was with misplays, so it can be even better. So obviously the deck is super strong if you can get the right cards at the right time. Uh, I think the strongest part of the deck is Hidetsuga and Kairi, this is obviously the part of the combo, but the point is that it is a flyer that can block anything and just try it and then you win the game. So that really helps against all the aggressive decks. It's only 5 mana and even if you don't hit the main combo, you still get a lot of value. Sometimes you will just get cut down and go for the throat or Geek's Command and that's an, that is enough. Uh, if you can buff it to 7-6 with Geek's Command and Lifelink, that's usually enough to win the game as well. So. It's just a great creature. I think this is the biggest power of the deck. It's just a great creature on top of the combo. And the rest of the cards are still strong with Liliana, Kaito and all the Planeswalkers. We can really threaten the control decks together with Mirex. And against Aggro, I mean, <laughs> we have a lot of removal and triple shorted with Geek's Command. So we actually also have a lot of tools to deal with this kind of decks. And I think it shows in the in the, in the the wind, right? So guys, I wanted to test this archetype, if it still works, even after, you know, the new set hits and this was a very popular deck and it seems that it didn't lose too much power. You can try to tweak the deck a little bit, but I was happy with the build. I think it performs well, it's enjoyable to play. And if you want to play Dimir on ladder, this might just be your best bet if you don't want to go, you know, very aggressive road. So guys, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate you and thanks for all the comments and I mean, see you tomorrow!